In this video, we'll be talking about staircase. We will get to understand how to make our staircase plan. This is our stair or now, and the dimension of our stair or is 2.7 meter by 3.6 meter. With this dimension and the orientation of the floors to be connected, the best staircase to use in, is quarter turn staircase. This has three flights and two intermediate landing. Also, we need to understand the terms used in staircase, the flight definition, and as you can see on the screen now, we have the rise, we have the riser, we have the going, we have the spread, and we have the waist. So for this design now, the width of the staircase is going to be 1,200 mm. The going is going to be 300 mm, and the rise is going to be 150 mm. So we'll start by getting the width of the staircase and to do that now we offset around the stair or so it offset 1200 mm and we offset this side we offset this side and this side so what we need to do is trim the unnecessary line so we'll trim this away And this away, and this away. So this is our flight part now. This is our flight part now. And around here will be our first landing, and around here will be our second landing. So what we are going to do now is create our first riser. And since we know that the landing, the first landing will be around here, which is also having the width of two hundred. So the Going for this landing here, for this landing here will be 1200. And it, the going is different from the rest of the stair, for the rest of the stair here. So, which is different from the rest here that we have. The rest here is 300 going. So, we create the first riser, hit line, and Draw the line at this point here. So the next thing we are going to do here now is use the array command. Hit on array. Select the object, this first riser, and hit enter. And what we want to do now is part array. Select this, and we we'll select this part. This is where the 300 going. This is where they will stop. And select this. So now we'll come into this place here now, this place, the item space in here, and give it the size of our going, which is 300. Hit enter. And now we have our, fl our flight, the first flight. The next thing we can do again is to come here. This, is, this will be our landing, our first landing. So the next flight will be here. So we'll do the same command again we will create line the first line which is the first riser create something like this let's trim this point here away and use the array command again you can just come here array part and we we'll select object this is this and select the hit enter after selecting object and select this part and come here and give it the spacing of 300 and hit enter so we are done with that now the next flight now this is going to be another landing the next flight is starting from here so since this and this is going to have the same dimension we'll just copy the flight here we'll copy it to this side so Copy command, select all this and pick it from this point and drop it here. So the next thing, we are done with our flight now. We have quarter turn, this is the first landing, this is the second landing. And this is the first flight, the second flight and the third flight. So the next thing we are going to do, we are going to create our hand railings, trim 
this stuff away here and it offsets 50 mm for the diameter of our hand rail and let's draw a line in front here okay we'll trim away the unnecessary part the next thing we are going to do is to create layers to put all these elements we have input in the drawings to put them in the right layer so we'll come to layer properties here and create a new layer let's say stairs and we can come to this color and change the color mm, let's give it color index 4 click ok and Let's create another layer again, which is wheels and come to this color here and let's give it a color. Mm. Let's give it color index 51 and click OK. So you can close these properties now. So select this and it's the home key with the home tab and now we can select this the right layer from here which is ssts and it escape so we'll just do match properties to the rest of the flight select this and match this match this so for the railings also we we'll select one of these and put it on the right layer which is railings and let's go to the layer properties again and our railings let's give it line thickness line width let's say line width of 0.30 hit ok and close this so we'll do match properties to the rest of the railings this 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 to this and to this so we are done with our staircase now so the thing what we can do again is draw our flight path so let's bring in a line and draw a line from here like this like this and to somewhere around here another line like this each tab and let's give it an angle of 135 degree So let's leave it this way now. Now that we are done with the staircase, the next thing we'll be talking about is annotation, how to annotate our drawing, adding dimension and text to the drawing.